Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the male and female reproductive parts in a flower. So let's get right to it. Now, a flower can have either the male reproductive part, the female reproductive part, or both in the same flower. In this flower model, we're going to look at a flower that has both the male and female reproductive parts. Let's get right to it. So first, let's look at the male part. The male part consists of this bean-like structure here at the top. This is known as the anther. And the anther is where the pollen sacs are. Inside the pollen sacs, there are pollen grains. The pollen grains are actually the male gametes. So the pollen grains are contained inside the anther. And then holding the anther up, this stalk-like structure here is known as the filament. And together, the anther and the filament are collectively known as the stamen. So the stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower. Guys, if you're learning something, please do hit that like button. It really does help to support me in the channel. So let's look at the female reproductive part. Female reproductive part is this middle structure right here. It consists of three parts. The first part right on top, this is known as the stigma. The stigma is the sticky part which allows the pollen grain to land. So the function of the stigma is the site for the pollen grain to land during pollination. During pollination, the pollen grain transfers from the anther to the stigma. And holding the stigma up so that it is high enough to catch all the pollen grains, this is the style. And then right at the bottom, the bulbous part at the bottom here, is known as the ovary. And yes, in the ovary is where the female gametes are. The female gametes are egg cells here as well. So we have the female gametes in the ovary, specifically in another structure called the ovule. So if you look at all these smaller, smaller spheres inside the ovary, this is known as the ovule. And this is where the female gamete is, which is the egg cell. So together, collectively, the stigma, the style, and the ovary is known as the carpal. Now, you might have heard of the word pistol. So sometimes they refer to this as the pistol. The pistol is actually a fusion of several carpals. So when many carpals fuse together, this is where we get the pistol. Now, there are some accessory organs as well. So, so far we have the male reproductive part, which is the stamen, consisting of the anther and the filament. Then we have the female reproductive part, consisting of stigma style and ovary. And we also have accessory organs. So, the accessory organs here, we have the petals. The function of the flower petal is to attract pollinating agents, such as insects. And then we have the sepal here. And the beginning part of the stem, this is known as the peduncle. So these are our accessory organs. And there we have it. These are all the flower parts that are involved in sexual reproduction. Again, guys, if you learned something from this, please do hit that like button. It really does help to support me and help to grow my channel. And if you're interested in videos like this, I'll be producing at least one a week. So do subscribe if you don't want to miss it. I'll see you in the next video.